Hello, in this video we will talk about the hormones of the adrenal gland. This video is dedicated for CBSC class 11-12 students or people who are preparing for NEET UG. So in this series of videos I will uh, de demonstrate all the concepts with the help of animations and this is going to be dedicated for school students. So you have a sister or a brother share this video with them and if you are a school student watching this video don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends. So the core concepts that would be discussed in this video will be from chapter 22 chemical coordination and integration of class 11 NCRT book. So our body has a pair of adrenal gland which is situated on the top of kidney. Now adrenal gland is a small gland if we cut a cross section across that we'll get a two portion of it one is the adrenal cortex another is the adrenal medulla the adrenal cortex secretes several hormones so as adrenal medulla adrenal medulla secretes epinephrine and norepinephrine all of these are known as catecholamines in a moment we'll talk about these things in details now all of these catecholamines are responsible for the fight or flight response that means it helps in the stressful situation Whereas the adrenal cortex secretes mineralocorticoid, which regulates mineral balance. It secretes glucocorticoid, which regulates glucose metabolism. And it also secretes androgens, which stimulate masculine properties. But before we delve into details of all these categories, let me tell you this video is kind of sponsored by Unacademy, which is India's biggest online learning platform. Unacademy has solutions for several online uh, tests and several competitive exams where all the educators would teach you and help you to prepare in your journey. Now for IIT JAM there is a venture batch which is starting and IIT JAM is an exam for uh, MSc level entrance examinations for biotechnology. A new batch venture batch has started from 2nd March so if you are preparing for IIT JAM you can take a possible subscription. Anyway they conduct daily scholarship tests and if you are not from a uh, not from a good uh, economic background then these tests would be helpful for you to get some scholarship so there would be like 15 question and it's for 15 minutes it's like a quick and rapid quiz today there is an exam for uh, people who are applying for chest examination and this examination is for uh, physics and if you have a friend who is uh, pursuing physics or want to do msc in physics this examination would be useful for them so this just examination mock test would help you to prepare for the final just examination all the links are provided in the description click on the links and it and register with my code ap10 okay let's get back to our fight or flight response what is a fight and flight response let me give you a real life example let's say a mad dog is kind of chasing you and you have to run away from him otherwise he would bite you this is kind of a stressful situation for your body and this is a fight and flight response so imagine in this situation your muscle need to flex very quickly and your muscle needs a lot and lot of uh, energy right and energy comes from glucose but how does your muscle get so much of glucose in so little time and that is happening by breakdown of glycogen and let me tell you that this epinephrine norepinephrine actually help in this process of breakdown of glycogen and producing glucose thereby it kind of supplies a ready-made source of energy now let us look at the adrenal cortex in bit more details so we can see there are at least three layers the outermost layer is zona glomerulosa the middle layer is zona fasciculata the inner layer is known as zona reticularis so from the outer layer mineralocorticoids are secreted which regulates mineral balance and one such example is aldosterone in the from the middle layer glucocorticoids are secreted which regulates glucose metabolism such as cortical cortisol cortisone and corticosterone and from the zona reticularis androgens are secreted which stimulate musculine properties such as dehydroepiandosterone and androsteridione. These are the important names that you should remember. Glucocorticoids uh, can stimulate gluconeogenesis, lipolysis, and proteolysis. But how they can do it? They are actually uh, soluble, right? So they are kind of um, 
they can pass through the membrane plasma membrane and their receptors are present in the nucleus so obviously the the receptors are bound to specific uh, dna segments called hormone response element so whenever the ligands bind to these receptors that leads to transcriptional activation so what genes are transcribed genes that regulate gluconeogenesis lipolysis all those genes are transcribed when a glucocorticoid is secreted or glucocorticoid is acting on a tissue now let's talk about catabolism part so cortisol actually decrease protein anabolism increase protein catabolism so overall cortisol is a, a hormone that increase several catabolic reactions or breakdown reactions now glucocorticoids particularly cortisol produces anti-inflammatory responses this is very important information because cortisol can suppress your immune system temporarily it can decrease inflammation but it can increase the risk of infection so overall it is also used as an immune suppressant Cortisol is also involved in maintaining cardiovascular system as well as kidney function. Now let's talk about the mineralocorticoid such as aldosterone. Aldosterone acts specially on the distal convoluted tubule of the nephron and it influences the reabsorption of sodium and water and help in the excretion of the potassium thereby regulating the mineral balance. Aldosterone helps in maintenance of electrolytes, body fluid volume, osmotic pressure and also blood pressure. So all these functions are really important. So what really happens? So we are at the distal convoluted tubule of the nephron and here is a blood vessel. So aldosterone helps in reabsorption of the water and sodium and it secretes potassium in the uh, distal convoluted tubule and thereby overall reducing the glomerular blood pressure so overall it maintains the mineral concentration in the body and it helps in mineral balance so that's why it is really important now then and uh, then adrenal androgens such as dehydroepiandosterone or andosteridione all of these androgens are responsible for the secondary sexual characteristics for example growth of axial hair pubic hair or facial hair during puberty Androgens also help in prostate development in males. So as per summary, we have looked at hormones secreted from the adrenal cortex and adrenal medulla. We looked at the functions of these hormones as per NCRT guidelines. And we also looked at how these hormones can affect our physiology. We kind of broke it down into all the segments and look at all the functions. So I hope this video was useful. A lot of notes and flashcards are available in my Facebook page. Links are provided in the description. You can revise many concepts using dynamic flashcards which are also present in my Facebook page. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can support my channel on Patreon. My courses are present in Unacademy which is India's biggest learning platform. Using my code AP10 you can get a 10% discount. And my social media links are all provided in the description. Feel free to connect with me. I'll, I'll, I will be very happy to connect with you and interact with you guys. Thank you.